It's quite hot here. The climate feels different from then in Cias. It's gotten much cooler since leaving town, though. Does that mean eyes were burning holes in us? Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Art. So we're back in the Zion Mine Tunnels. Who would have thought we'd be going through this place again? This is where you and I first fought together. And also the first time we touched, as I recall. Wait, really? Yes, really. So this path is supposed to take us out to Berg Volcano? We're not gonna see any lava burst out in front of us or anything, are we? Don't get so paranoid you let a rock fall on your head, Law. reach the inner portion of Berg Volcano. We need to find that starship, and fast! You can make plants grow instantly? <gasps> what if we use this for fruits and vegetables? I'd rather not be our party's fertilizer. Thank you very much. Come on! 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 Come on!
those rockets in? I'm not done! Flying freaks! Why can't they just sit still? Shia, can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. done. Thanks, Kisara. Scoring blood. An astro blast? That's my cue. Come on. Shut them down. Not on my watch. Who's in a bright and shiny mood? The design of this equipment is really interesting. You must really like it, Alfin. Harkening back eight generations. Uh, maybe you can just write all this down? My face is starting to sting. And my throat feels super parched. Here, have some water. 
Just make sure you don't drink too much. Thanks. You want some tushi on? Oh, wait. I bet you're hungry more than anything, aren't you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Fortune must truly be watching over me. and dirty. Precision of your aim is simple.
completely unmatched. I... I had no idea you were watching me so closely. together, right? Most definitely. Though I won't make any promises. Which one is it? That's where you're going, everyone. If you fall, there will be nothing left of you. Exactly. So don't try anything funny. Especially you, Law. No pushing anyone. Not even as a joke. I'm not a little kid! I didn't know you had that sort of trick up your sleeve, Dohalim. I would have figured rocks and plants would be too different for you to handle both. Not necessarily. Both of them contain Earth astral energy. Luckily for me, this area is rich not only in fire energy, but Earth as well.
What the hell is that thing? Probably that monster Nath warned us about, if I had to guess. Do you think this might have been where one of those lights that shot out of the wedge landed? But why this location? If the purpose of the wedge is to harvest Dana's astral energy... We can figure that out later. If that thing gets into town, it's going to cause chaos. We need to take it down and move on. Let's go! This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. Here it comes! Focus! On your toes, everyone! Here goes! Suddenly turning tail doesn't seem so ridiculous. Why? Are you scared? Me? <laughs> Are you? Do you even have to ask? Of course I'm scared! Focus up before we become that thing's lunch! Huh. It's summoning Zoogles? Take care of them while keeping an eye on it! My Here it goes! Not not Nothing can no here! Me. No Short more Let's get you all tucked huh. away! Take this And it's a freezing storm! Take this! Ice tornado! Lightning orb! I'll smash you! More of that power on water! Uh, I'm only hurt! The of your water! Here my water! Flood! Lightning orb! Can't get out of this! More where that came from! Healing circle! Oh! Oh no, done! Now! Alpha! 
In an instant! Impact cross! Reinforcements incoming! Not a problem! Armor won't save you! Uh, light astral energy! Hurry! Uh, 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 you can take it! A freezing wow. storm! Another incantation ruined. You may be strong, but I'll... Never back down! Maybe Dokizara will hide you, huh? She is strong. She can handle it. You can be really dead, Dokizara. Coming through! Ha! No! Scarlet Inferno! Everyone all right? We won't surrender. We won't retreat. Not yet. Whatever you do, just please stay safe. First aid! Here's a helicopter. How are we supposed to take on something so big? I'll handle it. Just Elvin. watch and learn. That's enough! Everyone okay? Yeah, I think so. That thing scared the pants off me. It felt like it had a different aura than other Zoogles, didn't it? Yeah. It wasn't like the one that Almadria sicked on us either. Its elemental astral energy variance was out of this world. It was like fighting a lord. I guess it's safe to assume that if it came out of the wedge, it must have played some part in helping harvest astral energy. But what? Perhaps a living spirit vessel? It's plausible, given the location. Or it may be part of a new force dispatched to regain control of Dana. If we assume that monster was one of the four beams of light, we must have prevented something from taking place here. I'd like to think so, knowing how much grief it gave us. But at least with that out of the way, we can keep moving forward now. Let's go.
need to be stronger. Hey, is that it over there? You got Has checked your equipment lately? <sighs> Alvin, did you remember something? No, but I have seen this starship before. This is it. This is the ship I traveled in when I escaped from Lenegas. Three centuries later, and it's no worse for wear. I'll take a look at the internals. Damn! I'm amazed it still works at all after all this time. The past meets the present.
I really am from a different time and place. Yeah, but you've got us now, Alfin. Not only that, but you've helped out so many people, too. Law's right. Rinwell, too. You're one of us now. No more carrying the weight of history on your shoulders. You're a part of this world. Right. Thanks, you guys. How's it look? It should fly. All internal systems seem to be operating. However, considering how long it's remained inactive, I suspect it will take some time before it's ready for takeoff. How much time are we talking here? Starship mechanics are not what I'd call my forte, so I'd rather not hazard a guess. So we've just got to sit around here and wait? I'm terrible at waiting. That's because you're a child. Oh, but how about we use this time to prepare and gather supplies for the trip? Good idea. Who knows when we'll be back from Lenegas once we leave. We should prepare ourselves for every possible scenario before we go. Let's try not to stay away too long. I'd hate for anything to happen to the place while we're gone. Either we race ahead, or we take due precaution to ensure we have no regrets. I shall leave it up to you as to how we proceed, Alfin. Works for me. Funny, isn't it? What is? All this. When we first started this thing, did you ever imagine we'd be going to Lenegas? After all, this is the sort of thing I was rebelling against when I ran away from home, right? I'm sure Zephyr would be proud if he knew what his son was doing right now. And a little shocked, too. We're defying the order of things that have persisted for 300 years. <laughs> Deep down, I knew our journey would lead to confronting Lenegas. Yeah, you may be, but you're a Renan. The rest of us can barely even picture what it means to leave Dana. No offense to Xion and Dohalim, but it's worth remembering we're heading into enemy territory. No offense taken, and this is no picnic for me either. Remember, our aim is to ensure that both Lenegas and the Renan homeworld leave Dana alone for good. I don't think we'll be able to avoid a fight. Is there no way we can talk them into leaving us alone? The people of Lenegas? Sure. I mean, we found a way to make it work with Xion and Dohalim, right? And it's not just us. If places like Menensia can do it, then why can't because we- Because there are still many of my kind who believe it was right and natural that Rena reigns over Dana. There are those on Lenegas who have never stepped foot on Dana. I doubt whether they'd even listen to Danans. Look, none of us want to fight. 
But these are the same people who fired that wedge down on Dana. What happens next is on them. Right. We're not going to sit back and wait for them to oppress us again. Right. Don't forget, there's also a good chance the Red Woman is somewhere on Lenigus. And wherever she is, we should find the Renesalma, too. That's right. If we can take it back, then Xion can finally get rid of her thorns. <sighs> Xion? Huh? Uh, yeah. Where'd Xion go? How could she just go off on her own? She's not over there. Where did she run off to? Xion. But why? <laughs> you okay? Just now, I looked like you used your maiden powers to suppress your thorns. You can really do that? <laughs> Stay out of my way. Wait a second. Are you planning to go alone? Shut up! Why would you do this? I told you to shut up! <sighs> I won't let you. I mean it. I refuse to let you. I won't tell you again. Move or I'll shoot. If that's the case... Then go ahead and shoot me! Do you remember back when I was stabbed? By Volron? Yeah. I thought for sure that he had killed you back there. That wasn't the first time. Huh? The first time was when I was only a child. After that, no matter how often, I just couldn't die. Couldn't die? So you're immortal? How's that even... <clears throat> I believe you, Xion. But tell me how... How is something like that possible? My thorns. They're me, but at the same time, not. They're part of me. I have no idea why. But my thorns will never let me die. At least not before I'm meant to. You can't die before your death? When my thorns free themselves, it will be my death. 
I've seen it. A darkness that swallows up everything until nothing remains. It's a vision of oblivion I can't escape. I want to believe it's all just a bad dream. But no matter what I tell myself, I... I know it's not. Yeah, but you... Wait. The whole reason you... You needed the Renesalma was to get rid of your thorns, right? If I burn away what's inside, then what will happen to the rest of me? <laughs> right. Either way you look at it, I'm going to die. But if I am going to die, I figure I can at least take my thorns out with me. That's what I've been after this whole time. That's why you turned your back on your fellow Renans, and chose to fight with us, isn't it? And while we've all been fighting to keep on living, you have been with us fighting desperately to die. That was the plan? But then I met all of you, and I... Before I knew it, I didn't want to die anymore. Shion, don't lose hope yet. We'll find a way to save you. There's still time to. It's pointless. Why? Because the darkness won't just consume me. The truth is, it will consume all of existence as well. It was only a suspicion at first, but ever since the Red Woman triggered my maiden powers, I've been more certain than ever before. It was then that I finally came to realize my powers were holding my thorns in check the entire time. But they don't anymore. Not since Lenegas, when the Wedge fell. Every day, I feel the thorn's power growing stronger inside of me. Pretty soon, I won't be able to hold them back anymore. And when that happens... They will consume all existence. <sighs> and that's why you wanted to leave by yourself. You planned to find the Renis Alma on your own and sacrifice yourself to stop the thorns. But that's... Too much! It's way too much! When this all began, I didn't care what happened to me or anyone else. And what happened to the Renans or the Danans didn't matter to me at all. I know I have to die. But I don't want to. Not now that I have this. I wish we had never met! I wouldn't have to feel this way! See you on Help it! Living for the sake of dying is no better than being a slave! How can you endure this? Help It's not fair. I don't care what anybody says. I won't let it happen! We can fight this! fight until the end together. Isn't that what you said to me before? Even if it should mean that it'll be the end of everything else, too? Xion, what do you want? It's your decision, ultimately. But if you decide not to fight fate, I will, even if I have to do it alone. No, you won't be alone. I'll fight as well. Count me in as well. I want to be a force for good, not hate. And me too. 
I meant it with all of my heart when I told you before. Neither of you are alone in this at all. You guys... And I, for one, don't believe this venture is without hope. Huh? Shion is the descendant of a maiden from 300 years ago. Given the circumstances, it seems very likely that those events have some connection to her thorns. The true nature of which, I imagine we will discover as we make our way to Lenigus and uncover the truth of what's unfolding here. I take it you mean we might find a way to get rid of her thorns and she'll live? It's certainly possible. Though I suspect the nature of the Sovereign is connected somehow. So be it. I've already lost everything I had once. And I won't let it happen again. Shion. No matter what happens from now on, we're right here with you. All of us are. You are not alone. You guys, you're all so stubborn. right now, in a little while longer, I just want to hold on to this dream. And most of all, more than anything else, I want to be with all of you. So let's go. On to Lenicus. End of the world. It's hard to believe, isn't it? I believe Shion is telling the truth. What about you? As a friend, yes. I want to believe her. Everything that's happened seems to point towards some sort of great danger that's lurking ahead of us. Still, it's hard to fathom something that could usher outright doom to the world. That those really are the stakes we face. No, I understand. Even Shion doesn't seem to know exactly what will happen to bring it all about. We have so many pieces of the puzzle in our hands, so many clues, yet the complete picture eludes us. So where do her thorns fit in, then? Well, I imagine they must sit at the very center of it all. You remember the voice we all heard while we were inside the Wedge, don't you? Yeah, I remember. It was the will of Dana's astral energy come to life. Well, that's what we all thought. Right. And from that, we're able to hypothesize how vast concentrations of astral energy can become sentient. Let's return to when we found Xion in Pelegion. When her thorns went wild, they contained far more astral energy than any mere Renin would normally have inside them. So you think those thorns might be alive too? That their will is what keeps her from dying? But why would they want to destroy the entire world? As for that, I really cannot say for certain. Its goals still remain a mystery. It may be a mere fluke that her maiden powers have been able to contain it thus far. You know, I've noticed since we've met that you like figuring out riddles. Can you blame me? When one realizes that the world they once thought to be true is but a mere facade, they can't help but seek the truth. 
Especially when that deception has led to others getting hurt. Do Halim? I imagine the remaining pieces of the puzzle that we seek rest somewhere within Lenigus. As for what the final picture will look like, who can say? I think it's best we not dwell on it too much for the time being. Right. <laughs>